Yeah. All right. What do you got next? I got Avianca Life Miles up next. So Avianca Life Miles is maybe my favorite uh, uh, Star Alliance partner that isn't Turkish Airlines. So I like Star Alliance Airlines being based in New York State, flying out of New York City. There's just so many Star Alliance Airlines. So mm -hmm. Avianca Life Miles really appeals to me because they have some incredible sweet spots in their award chart. First, just within the United States domestically, if you can't deal with Turkish, if you stay within a single zone, uh, the old zones, and I, I put quotation marks up for people watching on the, the podcast because they don't really publish this anymore and there's some variants. But basically, if you stay on the East Coast, to the U.S., not too far south, can't go all the way to Florida, but 7,500 points each way within that zone. Zone two reaches from Florida all the way up to like North Dakota. And so if you're anywhere within the, the middle of the U.S., again, 7,500 points each way in economy. 10 each way in business. Uh, and, and so that's a pretty good sweet spot. But then Avianca does the same kind of thing that Greg was talking about with their mixed cabin awards. So if you fly one segment in business or first class and another segment in a lower class, they're going to average out the distance you flew in each cabin and price it even less. So for instance, a business class award ticket to Europe officially by their award chart costs 63,000 miles one way. However, if you fly something like, let's say, New York to Dublin in business class, uh, and then you fly from Dublin, let's say, to Istanbul in economy class, whether or not you make that second flight, it's going to cost you less. It'll cost you like just under 50,000 miles, potentially one way in business class to do something of that sort. So there are some great opportunities there for hacking the, the system, so to speak, with mixed cabin awards. And there are also some weird pricing anomalies that just don't make any sense. And we don't know why they price differently than the award chart suggests they should. But as a, for instance, one of the New York airports to Lisbon, Portugal costs 35,000 miles one way in business class. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It won't price yeah. out differently. If you try to do a mixed cabin thing, it's just, I can't remember if it's JFK or Newark. I always have to search and check, but one of those two to Lisbon's 35 K or an economy class 16,500, which is less than the award chart price from New York to Zurich. Again, no idea why. There's not really a good reason for it, but there are some odd routes like that. So we've written posts about the secret Life Miles award chart and do they play favorites because they've got lots of different pricing anomalies like that, not only to Europe, but in other parts of the world too. Yeah, no, that's a great one. That's a great one.